This is Moon Jong from Tuzan Bucket. Recently, there have been a lot of concerns about lithium ion battery fires, including those in electric vehicles. Today, to elevate some of these concerns, I'd like to introduce the charging system and battery safety features of Tuzan Bucket Forklift. Hello, senior expert Daniel Yu. Now, could you first explain the safety features of the charging system, please? Of course. Uh, the charging system of Dusan Bobcat forklifts has several safety features. First, there is a battery polarity protection function. If the battery is connected incorrectly, the charging will automatically stop. I see. I'm curious about other features as well. What other features are there? Yes, there is also a battery voltage check function. This function stops charging if the battery is too old or if the volume is too low or too high. Additionally, there is an overheat protection function for the charger. If the charger gets too hot or if the cooling fan fails, the charging will immediately stop. I see. How about the input voltage of the charger? I guess that's also important. That's right. There is an input voltage diagnostic function that stops charging if the input voltage is outside the specified range. There's also a communication check function which stops charging if the control communication between the charger's CPU and electronic circuits is not working properly. I see. So if any issue arises, the charging process is immediately halted. So are there any precautions that the operators should take when charging? Yes, there are a few precautions to take when charging. First, charge in a safe environment free of liquids and fire hazards. It is also advisable to have firefighting equipment nearby in case of an emergency. Also, avoid pulling or twisting the charging cable excessively. I see. So, should we also be cautious in high temperature environments? Yes, that's correct. Please avoid charging in environments above 55 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Additionally, check for dust or water inside the charging connector to prevent overheating and fire due to poor contact. Also, do not modify the charging terminals or charging equipments and avoid handling the charging equipments with the wet hands. I see. Thank you so much. Can you also explain the safety features of the battery? Yes. The allowable discharge ambient temperature for lithium ion battery forklifts is from minus 20 degrees to 60 degrees Celsius. This design allows for operation in polar regions and tropical areas, even in cold storage warehouses. Prolonged use of the battery in high temperature environments can affect battery life. So the battery system is designed to activate high temperature protection functions. I see. So high temperature protection for the battery is also important, I guess. How does the battery protection function work in high temperature? When the battery is discharging and the cell temperature reaches 60 degrees Celsius, the system displays an alarm warning. If it reaches 65 degrees Celsius, the system automatically cuts off the power. When charging the battery, if the cell temperature reaches 55 degrees Celsius, the system reduces the charging current. If it reaches 65 degrees Celsius, the system automatically cuts off the power. I see. So we should also be cautious in weather like when it's raining or snowing, is that correct? Yes. Although the battery is designed with waterproof and dustproof ratings, it is best to avoid moisture. Mm -hmm. Operating the forklift outside in rainy or snowy weather is prohibited. The vehicle should never be left exposed to rain outside. Okay, so lastly, please tell us how to extend the battery life as well. It is advisable to charge the battery when it reaches about 20%, even during operation. Over this charge can affect battery life. If the forklift is not in use for an extended period of time, it is recommended to perform maintenance charging every month. If stored for more than a month, be sure to check for any error alarms in the power battery system before using it again. Additionally, after long-term storage or before using a new battery for the first time, fully charge the battery to 100%. Mm -hmm. Failure to do so may result in discrepancies in the display battery level. Thank you so much for your valuable information today. Please pay attention to the safety when using chargers and batteries. I hope the information was very useful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.